The Brain Simulator 2 is a new open source project for AGI research. This video is in three parts. How to use the Brain Simulator, current development and the digital entity, and the overall strategy for the project. The Brain Simulator simulates a large array of neurons, and neurons can be collected into modules which can execute any desired algorithm. The mix of neurons and algorithmic code gives the Brain Simulator limitless possibilities. The basic building blocks within the Brain Simulator are neurons connected by synapses. Neurons are allocated when the network is created and the software has been tested with 10 million neurons running in parallel on a desktop CPU. Dragging from one neuron to another creates a single synaptic connection, although most synaptic connections are managed by software. Clicking on a neuron causes it to fire. The mouse wheel controls the zoom of the display, and the amount of network detail varies with the different zooms. The hand icon lets you move the display. The engine of the brain simulator gives each neuron the opportunity to execute its firing model function once during each time slice. Neurons execute in parallel, utilizing all the available CPU cores. The engine can be paused, started, single-stepped, or restarted. A slider controls the engine speed, with one second per time slice being the slowest speed, and the fastest being limited by the performance of the computer and the size of the network. Cursor shape indicates whether a neuron or individual synapse is currently selected. Right-clicking shows the state of that item. Neurons can be assigned one of several models with a spiking model being the default. You can add your own models to the system in a few lines of code. Neurons can be labeled for convenience. Synapses can be given specific weights, and a high weight synapse connecting a neuron to itself will cause the neuron to fire continuously. Left clicking such a neuron toggles its firing state. A group of neurons can be selected, and a selected area of neurons can be copied, cut, pasted, or deleted. A selected rectangular group of neurons can be converted to a module which executes code when it fires. This represents the real power of the brain simulator. As examples, this module gets input from the computer speech recognition system and fires neurons in response to word input. Computer 3.14 In this case, the module on the left displays camera input while the one on the right displays input from a 3D simulation. Modules can access the entire neuron array, work with neuron values, and add, modify, or delete synapses. Creating a new module from a template requires only writing initialization and the code that executes when the neuron fires. The functionality currently being developed creates a digital entity which can explore a simple virtual environment. Here are some of the modules. The simulation module represents a simple 2D environment with physical obstacles and an entity which is able to move through the environment and see, touch, and smell the obstacles. Its dialogue shows the content of the simulation along with the entity's position and orientation and its two touch sensors. Primitive behaviors of being able to move or rotate within its simulated environment in response to neuron firings lets the entity explore. More complex behaviors combine these primitives, and I have added a function so that the entity can move to a point where you click in the simulation display. 
The simulation detects collisions and prevents the entity from moving through obstacles, at which point it executes a small back-off behavior. Using ray tracing to determine the exact view for its two eyes, the vision module determines boundary points of interest and estimates depth and provides color information. You can see the entity's image for each eye in the rows of neurons and in the simulation display. The entity can sense its environment by touch and aroma with two antenna or arms. These can sense the presence of an obstacle, its angle, and whether an end has been contacted. Information from various senses is merged into an internal mental model. The model is continuously updated so it represents the entity's point of view, with forward being up on the display. White ends on lines indicate that only vision information is available and that the positions are approximate. These are colored in if a touch sensor can update an exact position. All types of information are combined into a unified knowledge base which stores links representing relationships in a knowledge graph. Relationships can be built by correlation so that hearing the word red while seeing a red obstacle enhances a link between the word and the underlying abstract property. By temporarily adding objects to the internal model or temporarily transforming objects within the model, the entity has the ability to imagine things or change its point of view. It can currently use this ability to plan routes around obstacles. The intent is to research imagination and planning, not to create optimal routes. Working together, these modules create a digital entity in a simulated environment which can be used to explore a variety of AI concepts. What's the intent of the Brain Simulator project? To experiment in areas where young children are superior to AI. Things like object comprehension, causality and the passage of time, even the ability to learn simple algorithms. Brain Simulator is an experimental platform for trying various capabilities. It is not intended as a standalone application, nor for creating applications. The current set of modules follows this generalized map of intelligence, but virtually any AGI theory could be implemented in Brain Simulator modules. Following the agile programming technique of building a single use case and then expanding upon it, the current modules handle just a single object type and a few attributes and very limited behaviors. In the future, the simulation will be expanded to discover more object types, including movable objects and a greater variety of attributes. The entity could then learn about spatial relationships, near, far, and in front of, etc., temporal relationships like moving one object before another, and basic algorithms like counting or arranging objects to achieve a goal. The entity should generate glimmers of intelligent behavior even before expanding to the complexity of a three-dimensional real world. I hope you'll be interested in participating in the project, which is available for download. Go to httpbrainsim.org for current details. You'll need Windows and Visual Studio. The software is available under the MIT license, which allows virtually any use at no cost, including commercial applications. I hope you've enjoyed this demonstration, and I look forward to your participation.